the Dreamcatcher Award for Education, Linda Stotts. I constantly worked at improving the curriculum within the schools and within the um, First Nations communities. And my first impact I had on that was I worked with um, an Indian Affairs officer, Joni Spears, and we contacted Nelson Book Distributors. And with them, we assisted and developed a reading series that was more relevant to life in a First Nations community. Linda I. Stotts is a member of the Mohawk Nation, Wolf Clan, Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. She was one of the first 100 teachers sent to Hamilton Teachers College in response to the Indian control of Indian education paper in 1972. After teaching for 17 years in First Nations schools across Ontario, 14 of those as principal, she set out to develop a new and more effective teaching model for First Nations students and worked on the special education policy for First Nations communities. She was principal of the Native Classroom Assistant Program at Nipissing University and with other educational leaders was fundamental in the creation of the Principles of First Nations School Program. Although retired, Linda continues her pursuits of greater education delivery to Aboriginal students as principal of the Goenio Language Immersion Elementary and Secondary School. In 1993, she became the first CEO of Six Nations Polytechnic, a post-secondary institute in Six Nations founded to provide greater access to post-secondary education for Aboriginal people. We developed partnerships with universities and colleges to bring those courses to the community so that Six Nations Polytechnic students could be more successful. When we started to grow, all of our, our programs that were here had cultural inclusion in them so that our students knew and had a place to learn about who they were. When our students understand and know who they are, they feel that pride and they feel that success when they go on to higher education. Today, most of our students who are completing university have completed their first year here. My philosophy always was if they walk through the door, I try to get them on a hook and don't let them leave until we have an education plan for them. That's a foundation for building the students' strengths here. I figure if they've got that much gumption and ambition to just walk through the front doors, then we are here to serve and help them.